Yo guys, what is going on? It is Invin here, and today what I'm bringing to you guys is a video on New World's response to their bugs from the January monthly release. Now, this is an important video because a lot of people have been saying in the comments here on YouTube, on Twitter, in the Discord, and of course in-game about a number of different bugs they've encountered or they've seen happen to other people or indeed themselves at different times around the world. Things like, you know, obviously inside the expeditions, the chest loot, was bugged which we did get fixed in a patch yesterday evening which i'll cover as well in a moment now this is what we're looking at today it's a known issues thread on the forums for the monthly release and if i just quickly scroll down through this as i'm speaking you guys will see the sheer amount that is on this list now whilst that in itself is a little bit problematic we're going to move past that point and accept that there is some bugs and what i'm going to do is kind of cover the most important ones for you guys but i'm also going to leave this link in the description so you guys can check out the official post yourselves and go through every single item because there's a lot here um it's gonna be like an hour long video if i cover absolutely everything so i'm just gonna go over a few things i'm gonna talk about what they did in yesterday's patch but i just wanted to keep you guys in the loop with the news of what's going on what they're looking at and of course what's actually happening in terms of communication between the devs acknowledging these bugs and the player base now before we jump fully into the video if you guys haven't done so already please do make sure you subscribe to only around 20 percent of people who actually watch my videos are subscribed to the channel so if you could help me out do drop a subscribe down below, it'd be much, much appreciated, and let's jump into this one. So, wars are not refunding their cost, even if server is in maintenance, but still up. So, that's something there. We did see our wars refunded yesterday on our server. We actually had one at the exact time the service went down. So, yeah, they got refunded, and the influence is back, unfortunately, for those guys that were attacking us. But, it kind of made sense, because they were given the money back, at least. Still annoying, but it is what it is. Mutator scheduler can fail to refresh, so obviously that's not good. We do want that to be able to refresh so that we can actually get the new mutations. Player is unable to get new faction missions after declining the prompt. So again, can be fixed with a relog, but it's, it's kind of annoying. There's some workarounds for some of these things as well, which is also linked on this. So if you do see any that you want to see if there is a workaround for... Obviously, this, like I said, will be linked in the description. You can go ahead and click through this post here and it will show you. Um, some other things, as of tree lights were flickering. PvP healing does not scale in a similar way to damage. That should be happening. So healers, big one for you guys. A lot of my guys have been complaining about healing not feeling as impactful. That's because in PvP, for some reason, it's not scaling as it should right now. They're working on that, so that should be something we see changed. Also, another important one, void blade impact effects sometimes trigger incorrectly. This has been causing some strange things to happen, so hopefully that's fixed soon as well players cannot access the war board sign up for war in a settlement and also with this we've seen multiple people sign up so the same name two three times and then they don't get pulled into the war when it goes into it so it's been a bit of a pain at the moment to be honest hopefully that gets fixed shortly also dropped and looted furniture cannot be salvaged which it should be able to be so that's going to be fixed all sorts of other things here. Using rending throw to interrupt light and heavy attack sequences causes the player's movement to stutter. Very annoying. Hopefully that's fixed soon again. All of these ones that sort of affect PvP and the endgame PvE is really, really annoying. And just general player QOL when you're going around using these abilities. Hopefully they get fixed fast. Several mutator hatchets like the proper animations when thrown in the air. This also applies to the abilities of the thrown axe. So again, kind of annoying. Hopefully that's fixed. All area and standard battle music stops playing after the player enters the battle chamber in Lazarus Instrumentality. Personally, I haven't noticed this. I do have my music quite low on the game for when I've been streaming and such. But, you know, when it has been there, it's very, very cool, very ambient. So it's a shame if that does happen. Again, not one of the major things, but everything that they've noted is listed here. So there is a lot. This is a big one. Still as arcane bombs persist through her death. These can be quite annoying and can slow you down in some of your runs. So do just be aware that that's the case at the moment. You might get stunned on your way out and you might take damage. So make sure your healer is still on their toes even when the boss fight is over. Just in case that does happen and get prepared to be rezzed. Also, one really important thing is by swapping weapons mid-rolls, players avoid sprint delay after the roll ends. Now, this is listed in a known issue. Personally, I really don't think this should be an issue at all. I really like the dodge cancelling. So, and it says specifically mid-roll roll but also you can do it with the jump side to side and indeed even the heavy dodge a little bit it's not as effective because really you don't move with that too much but 
they can all be, you know, kind of animation cancelled a little bit, and I do think that that adds a certain level of skill to PvP, PvE, or indeed just traversing around, particularly traversing around is going to be the main thing where that's kind of annoying to change. Hopefully that doesn't get fixed. That's something that if it is a bug, I don't understand why it's a bug, it, it makes sense, and I think a lot of players would be shocked to see that listed as a bug, because yes, it is quite annoying in PvP, when you're in light armour, you get really, really good distance advantage over people in heavy and medium, but then heavy and medium have a lot more resistances. Maybe you would see these scaled more, but also with that, you have the 30% damage increase of light armor. And that is because specifically in PvE, these mutations, if you're going to be attacking, you need to be dodging most attacks. So you're going to miss out on some of those autos that the heavy and medium guys can go through with. And that is why your attacks do more damage because you're going to spend more time on the move. I think it evens out pretty well. So let me know your guys' thoughts on that in the comments below. That is something that I've seen on here that's kind of a little bit strange to me. So see what you guys think um aoe's targeted through the forge gates and damage enemies that's no longer going to be in pvp flag luck bonus is active during the 30 second protection timer that again is not really a massive thing that kind of should be although you can use it to cheese some stuff so that makes sense that they want to fix that players becoming stuck in place after interacting with npcs are very annoying hopefully that's done soon as well player is unable to join expeditions after exiting a different one until the world has rebooted that is really not good particularly with the new mutations and large amounts of reports coming in that server restarts and maintenance are causing players to lose expedition orbs they have said yeah with yesterday's restart that we would be getting back mutation orbs that were used because lazarus's chests were bugged so that wouldn't be done at the time of restart which was yesterday at the time of recording so we should start to see those trickle back into our inventories when AGS are able to do that over the coming week or so, hopefully. Then combat, we've seen big changes here, or big, well not changes, big bug reports. Um, lots of different things. Again, I would strongly recommend people read over this. Generally, it's things like the abilities not connecting, desync, things not function as they should, so being able to AoE through objects, which of course is not the intended. It's also things included like the visual effects, which is kind of important, especially in these mutations and in PvE. And death animations, PvP rewards are not granted, and PvP value is not white if players are migrating hubs. Not entirely sure what that means, but it seems that there's, there's different things going on with PvP rewards there. Outpost rush summons will target allied players and ice pylons. They shouldn't, obviously, they should be just on your team. If you've played Outpost Rush since the update, you'll know what this is like, and it's not great. Um, you know, Ice Pylon targets slash shoots at Barkamedes. Just a really strange thing to happen. Poor Barkamedes, he's just sat there minding his own business. Um, loads of other stuff. Ice Spikes will sometimes not load the VFX for the large spike if the caster uses left mouse button at a specific time. So again, really difficult to see where the damage indication is coming from in both the mutations, where the timed runs are important, and PvE as well. And yeah, loads of other stuff here. Pietrefine's Scream perk does not show the gear scaling percentage in the trading post window. And then Mended Execute heals for more than the stated percentage value. So there's a lot of things going on here. Again, loads more to read through. So if you guys want to see those in depth, go ahead and check them. Crafting, gathering, etc. Gypsum and gypsum orbs are not being consumed when crafting after the push test. Uh, mine have been, so I haven't seen this bug personally, but I'm sure if some of you have, you'll be quite excited with having extras. Um, that should be patched soon. Players can enter a state where most gatherables cannot be interacted with. That happened to me a couple of days ago. I had to relog to fix it, so it does work after a relog, but it is very annoying. And if it happens mid-war... Yeah, not great at all. Most Void Gauntlet icons do not match Gauntlet's colour variations. Fine. Shield downgrading in rarity across the game. Player cannot craft at the outfitting station. Sometimes these have been bugged. Um, basically a load of other stuff here. But again, the point of this video is not for me to go over every single thing. But just to inform you guys that they are aware of a lot of stuff. Try and find out, you know, you can f use the webpage finder to see, you know, if your bug is on that list. If it's not, obviously submit a ticket so we can get all of this stuff fixed as soon as possible. But this is what they're working on. And it is a lot of stuff. There's also a whole thing to do with quest submissions here. Whole thing to do with expeditions. This is particularly important for the mutations. Uh, again, things like all inventory items removed when disconnecting inside of an expiring expedition instance. That is a really bad one. Hopefully that is fixed as soon as physically possible, that is really, really bad. Various boss themes do not play on repeated attempts of their fights. Some great axe and burnout fire staff can be used to bypass triple laser walls inside Starstone Barrows. Ice Tomb does not take damage from any chain element. And then you've seen all this other stuff. Dynasty Shipyard Mutator icons are doubled on the map. 
which was in the PTR as well. But I thought that was kind of where the entrance was and then where the expedition was as well. But, you know, maybe that's not supposed to be the case. Some of them, like you see here, are kind of like less important, but they're still working on them. So it's good to have a list. I do like that. But also, you know, some of these are really important. Some issues with chat channels, which is good. We've seen this address now because this is something I've been experiencing for a long, long while. And company, factions, groups, oh my, in brackets, companies cannot transfer ownership if both the console and governor are absent for too long a period of time. Invalid company invites persist after a relog. Sometimes the cursor is moved to the next MTX company crest option. Tooltip will not show. Old group members retain on the map. All kinds of stuff here which you might have noticed. And token rewards gain do not match the listed rewards when turning in faction rank up quests. Interesting, not sure why that is as well, but it is a thing. And yeah, darkness areas as well. Invasions player to player trading and trading posts and outpost rush as well and then wars again this is another big one rarely players are not receiving rewards sometimes rally point flags has a red replace me texture when the server is restarted before the war begins there is no messaging about the cost for declaring wars until the last page of the war declaration process war defenders can destroy attackers shops by attacking through the war camp walls what that one is crazy bad uh, walking with siege weaponry blueprints may cause grass to flicker or disappear. That has been happening. I just kind of thought that was part of it again. Uncaptured rally points in the respawn screen are displayed as flags for the second and every next war. And also war points can have their AOE indicators disappeared when many AOE VFX are nearby. And also repeater turrets aiming reticle does not align with the hit scan functionality. So it's basically off kilter. So quite a lot of things here. We've also, you know, seen some updates like I said. So what I'm going to do is show you guys that as well. So as you'll see here, they did a downtime which was 7.30pm last night for me. And they fixed an issue which caused the player's storage sheds being filled with items that are in the same but were not stacking properly. And this bug has also caused those items not to be used in crafting causing crafts to fail and consume the top resource being used this has been corrected and storage and crafting should behave normally the ring of forges signet was improperly removed from the game and players inventories is now earnable in game but will not automatically be returned to inventories we apologize for this inconvenience and will deliver a make good to return this item outside of the patch to players who had it equipped at any point so you're not going to get it straight away but you should be expecting it very soon hopefully and also they fixed a bug which caused loot from elite chests in mutated lazarus instrumentality expeditions to not respect a player's expertise now elite chests will drop loot based on the player's expertise values in the mutated expedition we apologize for this inconvenience and will deliver a make good to return mutator orbs outside of the patch to players who used them before so we should all be seeing one to two orbs coming back to us from that point and also we address server crash which impacts expeditions and outposts rush all of that has been fixed which is good and you know it it did take a couple of hours to do but actually that's a really really good update and now we're just going to hopefully see the rest of that page get fixed very very sharpish which is you know hopefully coming soon so a lot of stuff to work on there not really to point out something negative necessarily about it but more to point out that it's good we have got the communication and to make all of you guys in the community aware that a lot of these have been addressed so if you are experiencing these problems you're not alone have a look at the workaround see if there's a potential fix there for it you know until they do an official fix and also you know if you do counter anything that's not on the list make sure you're submitting tickets so that we can get that fixed hopefully as soon as possible there's a lot of work for them to do there with this update it's you know quite exponential the amount of stuff that has gone wrong with it but what i will say is the communication on that has been really really good they've addressed it at least and let us know they know that it's broken and they are working towards a fix for that which is i think a good thing and i would assume that that's a cumulative list of things that were potentially involved before the update came out as well as going forward from the update so it's overall list of problems that hopefully we can see most of these fixed in this february update if not sooner which like we saw there some stuff has been sooner as yesterday's patch so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video i just wanted to keep you in the loop with everything that's going on and keep you guys aware of some of the you know most influential posts on the forum some of the most important things to be aware of which this post and the post we're looking at right now is two of those things if you did enjoy the video guys please do be sure to leave me a like if you like me keeping up to date with the news regardless of what it is then make sure you drop in a like so i do know that down below in the like box just underneath today's video if you are new to the channel like i said at the beginning make sure you are dropping a subscribe it really does help to support me and my content here on youtube so that'd be much appreciated and other than that guys as always thank you for watching thank you for your time and i will catch you again tomorrow with a brand new new world upload take care guys and peace